Hi there, welcome back for another video. In this video we will look at a typical concentration problem. So we have here a problem that involves a mass of solute and a volume of solution. Let's take a look. So it says, if you have 300 ml of a 5.5 gram per liter solution, how much solute was used to make it? So first thing you need to do is list your information. So let me grab a pen. Let's do green. Okay, so do I have a mass? No, I don't. That's what I'm looking for. Do I have a volume? Yes, I do. I have 300 ml. And don't forget, you really should list your information because as you are presented with different types of problems, it can become confusing as to what kind of uh, formula you're supposed to be working with. So always get into the habit of listing your info and also including your units. That's going to help you verify if you need to convert any of these values. So back to the problem concentration. It says in the problem 5.5 grams per liter. Okay, so right away I see a problem. My volume is in milliliters, my concentration is in grams per liter. So I need to convert my volume into liters. So 300 divided by 1000, because I know that there are 1000 milliliters in one liter, that gives me 0 0.300 liters. Now, if you are taking enriched science, you have to take significant figures into consideration. So I am keeping all the digits as is. I just moved my dot. So my dot would have been here. Technically, I moved it to convert to liters. Now, if you're just taking regular science and you don't have to deal with sig figs, just forget what I just said. You could just put 0.3, but I will always use significant figures in all my problems. All right, so I have two out of three um, variables. I have my equation over here. Now all I have left to do is to solve or replace and then solve. So my concentration is 5.5. Again, you should include your units in your calculations because then you can verify what cancels out and what you're left with. I know this, simple, this problem is simple, but if you have more complex problems, it can be useful to include the units. Okay, so I'm looking for the mass of solute and I know that my volume is 0 0.300 liters. If this was over one, right? So all I need to do now is cross multiply to find my mass. So 0 0.3 times 5.5 divided by one will give me my mass. And my mass should be in grams because my liters are canceling out. So my mass will be expressed in grams. So the answer is 1.7, 1.7 grams. Now, if we look at significant figures, I had three significant figures over here. I had two over here. So my answer should have two. It's always the smallest number that determines how precise my answer will be. If you are confused about the significant figure rules, um, either go and check the other videos that I made on that, or also as I had specified as a trick in the question, look at how long your numbers are. This one is the shortest one with two sig figs. So this one should determine how long my answer should be. It's not a foolproof trick, but it works 99.9% .9 of the time. On this note, if you need help with other types of problems, check out the other videos. I will be covering percentages, PPM, and molar concentrations in the other videos. Until then, take care!